Microsoft identity, permissions, and user consent all play a role in securing data that Microsoft Graph accesses. Here's a quick review of what you learned in this module. First off, we talked about how Microsoft Graph permissions and consent work together to determine what data can be accessed. In the exercise, you saw how user.read, for example, was a scope we could define to allow the user profile to be read. We also looked at how you can register your application in Azure Active Directory. That'll give you the client ID and the tenant IDs that we used in the previous exercise. And we saw how the Microsoft Authentication Library, or MSAL, plays a key role in signing in a user and retrieving the access token that we would use to call Microsoft Graph. Finally, we saw how an application can use an access token to make a call to the Microsoft Graph slash me API to retrieve user information, in this case, the user profile, and then render the display name. So that's the end of module two in this learning path. Let's move on to the next module and learn about some additional features that you could take advantage of in your applications.